Hope you guys enjoyed that highlight video. As you can see, I'm not at OTAs right now. We're actually at the Great Wolf Lodge for my daughter's birthday. What, what happened? It's your birthday. Oh yeah. Happy birthday, Reese. Thank you. But we still gotta bring the 49ers content to you. You already know the vibes. So one of the things that I really liked about the videos, some of the clips that we saw getting to see guys like Devondre Campbell in a Niners uniform for the first time, Leonard Floyd, uh, getting to see the rookies, Pearsall, all that good stuff. And of course, Brock Purdy. Can we talk about Brock Purdy? Brock Purdy wasn't even throwing at this time last year. So it's absolutely phenomenal to see him out there leading OTAs. It's crazy to think how much can change in just one year because Trey Lance, was the starting quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers at this time last year based on OTAs. Obviously, Sam Darnold was backing him up because Brock wasn't throwing. But it's just crazy how much things can change. Obviously, we saw Debo Samuel out there um, leading the group. No uh, Brandon Ayuk or Jawan Jennings. Now, I think we all were understanding about Brandon Ayuk. We knew Brandon Ayuk wasn't going to be there for the, that was expected. But the Jawan Jennings ones, it's an interesting situation because obviously he hasn't signed his exclusive rights tender, which means I don't even think he's technically on the team. He's technically not on any team um, because he has to sign that in order to be able to, one, like participate and and do all those types of things. He's a free agent, he's an exclusive rights free agent, and yet he can't sign with anyone. So it's a pretty interesting situation. I, I don't know if they're waiting for the IU extension or what have you, but regardless, 49ers are down a couple wide receivers, but they got some rookies to fill in. I don't think Jacob Gowing participated. There's actually a long list of players that didn't participate. I thought there was one interesting element where I think it was Eric Branch asked Kyle Shanahan if Christian McCaffrey wasn't at OTAs because it was contractually related. And Kyle Shanahan said he didn't know. He didn't know why his star player wasn't at OTAs. And again, that could be totally true. He was like, I don't know, you either here, you're not, it's not mandatory. And he did say that, he did say, We'll cross that bridge uh, if he's not here for mandatory workouts. But I, I was like, oh, it's interesting because we've talked about it on the channel a couple times about the fact that, like, you know, we're talking about IU and we're talking about all these guys who need to get paid. It's like at a certain point, we have to have the conversation that Christian McCaffrey is probably due for a contract extension and a raise with how well he's performing coming off an offensive player of the year campaign. The, his stock couldn't be any higher. So if it comes out that Christian McCaffrey is angling for a new deal as well, I won't be surprised. Um, but also, too, there is an element where he could just not be showing up today. Um, I, I kind of – the reason why I think it could be contractually related because – Christian strikes me as a guy who would show up for OTAs after a Super Bowl loss. So we'll see. We'll see. It could be nothing. We'll figure that out when mandatory minicamp comes around. Uh, but so far, uh, nothing crazy to report on from the field. Just who's there, who's not, and all that good stuff. Let me know what you guys think about some of these clips. And shout out to everyone who got those clips from 49ers practice. I tagged them. Uh, on the screen so if you want to go check out more of their content feel free but yeah that's kind of my thoughts on OTAs and everything that's been going down and as always make sure to like and subscribe for more updates